Howdy folks, TJ here. Time to replace this conglomeration. What is it? And this is the George Costanza wallet. Uh, I don't remember exactly what year I purchased it. Normally I can use a, a good wallet for 10, 15 years. I think I purchased this around 2010. So it's getting, uh, it's been submerged underwater many times. If you see this little logo here, this is a, uh, a fish. Uh, that means TJ goes fly fishing. That means I have a wallet in my pocket. And that means I fall in the water or go in the water and things get wet. It's time to replace it. Uh, and I've been looking at wallets for a while now. It's kind of like uh, TJ's a very simple person when it comes to clothes. I have, you know, Atari t-shirts. I've got a pair of shorts. I can wear the same stuff for years and years and then at some point, the wife throws away some stuff because I start getting holes in the pits. Uh, pits get uh, uh, stanky. Uh, you name it. It's you got to replace stuff. I tend to say, well, don't throw it away. I'll use it in the shop. But then I'll conveniently put it back on and go to the grocery store with her and embarrass her because I got a holy T-shirt on. But a wallet is important for us men. You, uh, you women, I don't care who uses a wallet. If you want a little piece of material that's in your front or back pocket, I'm still a back pocket guy. Uh, once in a while, I'll stick a wallet in my front pocket, but most of the time it's in a back pocket. And I've been looking at wallets for a while. And when you Google wallet, when you're on Facebook and type in the word wallet, uh, did I start this recording? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, uh, hopefully things come in crystal clear again. Would you move towards a camera and things start getting unfocused? Uh, anyway, Facebook starts following you. Uh, Google starts following you. And there's the ultimate wallet, the, the cool wallet, the peaceful wallet, the uh, vegan wallet. There's all these damn wallets out there. But I had been, I kind of like the tactical wallets a little bit. But that doesn't mean I'm a tactical dude. Uh, but I like some of the extras that may come with a wallet. And are they... Frilly things that you're not going to use, or are they things that you're going to use? But uh, this wallet is very thick. Again, George Costanza. You can see the material is fraying. I can still use this for a while, but I've been wanting a nice wallet. So I ended up looking at lots of options, like I said, and then I was served lots of options over the interwebs there. I finally, and I always want to say Django, but there's no J in there. It's called Dango. Dango. These are not cheap wallets. Anytime I spend a hundred plus on something, in my opinion, that's not cheap. Unless it was a car. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, let's put this one aside. So eventually this, I don't know how many inches this thing is. Uh, ooh. <laughs> You're talking about inches here. I'm perfectly fine with <laughs> Uh, this thing's about at girth. <laughs> We're talking girth inches. Ooh, it's a it's almost Friday, folks. Uh, this thing's about an inch and a half thick. It's it's a it's a wad. Uh, it's not the size. <laughs> Let's talk about wallets. Uh, Dango makes a series of wallets. They had a was it on uh, what's it was a sale going on. I forget if it was. Uh, independent, I think it was Independence Day sale. They were giving away a wallet with a wallet. And the wallet I liked was $125, I think, something like that. And they said, if you spend $100 or more or $129 or more, we will give you this M, where did I put it? This M1 wallet too. Now, uh, so I've got now two wallets. Uh, I'm going to try and attempt to try to use both. These are definitely different than your typical bifold stick cash in a slit uh, yeah, traditional man's wallet. These are different. There's rubber band or rubber things that you stick. Uh, I'm talking a lot of innuendo. <laughs> your rubbers and sizes. <laughs> it's almost Friday, folks. Uh, party on. Uh, I wanted something that was kind of semi-traditional that you open up. And if there was a, a place in there to stick some cash, I was cool with that. This M1 wallet's a little different. This M1 wallet's all metal, it looks like. And it's mostly for kind of like credit cards. But there's also a rubber band. 
and an optional clip that you could buy that you could stick cash under. I'm going to be interested to try this. One of my internet uh, Tenkara buddies uh, saw that I posted on my Facebook group that I was getting a wallet. And he said he went to something like this and he could never see turning back. He really likes the compactness, the quick access. So I may try this one in time too, but I purchased this one first. I purchased a Dango, not D -D Django, uh, but a Dango P01, Pioneer Travel Wallet, MT01, clasp and multi-tool included, water resistant, which I liked, DTEX material, RFID secured, which is cool because this thing's not RFID. This is just a slab of material, and it, it worked good for, like I said, between 10 and 14 years, uh, but it's falling apart, and it's time to replace it. So we're going to do an unboxing right now of the P01. I'll explain what I'm going to do, and then I'm not sure if I'll unbox this. I may do this one separately. The M1 comes in this nice little metal case, and it's it's definitely your tactical wallet idea, which is kind of cool. But uh, I don't know. Let me slip this back here for now. I may just quickly show you what I have going back here because I received, I purchased extra things. But anyway, let's open up the, the Dango Pioneer Travel. What I liked about this is you can slip a little booklet in here with a pen. And did I get my pen? Where, where there? Where's the pen? Uh, the pen's in here someplace. Uh, oh, yeah. I purchased... The little book and the pen that goes in here. It's all micro small, but still it's about the same girth. I'll show you here in a little bit, but it's got a little, I, I'm a writer kind of, and, and, and I don't mind um, writing stuff down. I prefer writing stuff down than going on the, I don't dub, you know, when I text, you know, the, the young guys and probably older people that are better at do this whole fun thing. No, I, I do this. And I'm 57 years old, and I'm not computer. In fact, I'm a techie person. I've been in the IT world forever. But certain things that I like doing old school, and I like writing freaking shit down. I don't want to type it on some little thing. I want to uh, on a piece of paper in my freaking pocket. Let's open this. So it came in this nice little bag. Uh, definitely not as gourmet as that nice little tin box. Now, let me pop this open. And I'll show you what this Pioneer Travel Wallet is kind of about. As best as I can. Oh, it's it's in this sheath that's really tight. <laughs> uh, whoa. Uh, hold on, folks. I gotta get this. Th this They could have used a slightly larger bag. It's kind of hard to get. Oh, uh, we're getting it out. Okay. Uh, it's really tight. <laughs> uh, hopefully you enjoy my this video. I'm kind of a goofy guy, but... You know, I just try to be me on video. Damn, this thing is freaking tight. Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> so uh, so you can see, uh, the, once you get the, the wallet out of the sheath, it gives you more info. P01, DTEX material, a Dango pen compatible, RFID. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool. And then on the back, it's basically the user manual. Uh, I don't know if you'll really see this too clearly, but uh, I don't know if they, sometimes when I do that, the camera doesn't really focus in. Uh, but let me show you quickly. Uh, dang, 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 dang. I wanted to hold it right side up. You can see this is fairly thin, but when you start sticking a lot of shit in there, it's going to get thicker. Uh, but it's a similar, you know, you can kind of see my old wallet. You can kind of see why I'm kind of liking this idea. So here's one side. And what's cool is this slit in the front is where you can put like your uh, driver's license or something that uh, you want to quickly show uh, and you don't want to have to open everything up, uh, which is cool. Although I don't know if I want people to necessarily see my driver's license, but you know, I'm pretty obscure. I'm not going to be going, hey, like Wayne and Garth from... What you might call it movie. <laughs> I forget what the name of the movie is now. But anyway, so there's the front. Here's the back. And there's a little clasp that you can see back there, which I'll show you more in a moment. There's a little flap. So this thing, and there's even a little zipper. So there's a little zipper pouch for sticking coinage. Uh, 
I kind of like that, you know, or whatever else. Damn, everything's tight. <laughs> so there is a slit. So if you have a few coins on you, I don't, I'd kind of like to carry a few coins because I don't want to break a damn dollar uh, and get, you know, 90 some odd cents back. I wouldn't mind having a little change in there. So that's cool. You can slip whatever you want in there. So it's got a zipper. Uh, this little thing is a tool and <laughs> got a tool and it's supposed to just pull out of here. See how it did that? It's your clasp that locks this, but then oh, opens up. So now you can kind of see again, this is a you know, updating what I'm doing, uh, but it's got that bifold feel to it. And then when you open it up, uh, you've got this thing here that you can stick stuff in. You've got uh, slits all over the place. A lot of slits. Uh, is there a slit on this? So there's a slit on the top that you can slide a whole bunch of cards down. You've got one over here that you can slide a whole bunch of stuff in. And this little tool is actually, I think uh, one thing's it's like a little bottle opener. And then I think there's maybe a little tools here on the corner. Am I going to use that stuff? Probably not, but it's it's cool to have. It's a piece of metal, and I may find a time where I need that little thing to do it. Uh, and then it holds it all shut, so when you pull this, you can lock it in tight. Uh, again, this front, you could stick a whole bunch of cards, and if you want one that's more visible on the front, uh, you could stick that there. So you've got all these basically slits to slide stuff in. The little booklet, so I did purchase the little booklet and the pen. The pen slides in, you can probably see it right here, there's a hole. The pen slides in here. Why don't we go ahead and actually get this little pen out? Some people may think this is kind of a little novel thing, like, are you going to really use that? Do you want this extra girth in there? <laughs> Let the phone ring. Screw it, I'm not answering it right now. It came with a little uh, lanyard, which is cool. And the pen, what phone number's ringing? I don't know what phone number's ringing. It's ringing something. Uh, this pen, let's, let's try slipping the pen in. So I think it goes from this angle and you push it in. Nice. So push it back up a little bit. So it holds in there really firmly. It's not gonna fall out. So now I've got a pen. And then this little booklet, I'm guessing you probably just get the little end. It's not a huge booklet. And you probably slide it in. Let me slide it in here. And it slides in tight. <laughs> Which is perfectly fine. The tight thing is perfectly good. So now I've got a little booklet. And a pen. And... You know, you can already tell it's starting to thicken up a little bit, but I've got a freaking pen and a little booklet in there. Let me offline insert cards and everything the way I like it. But you can see there's a cash fold here so I can stick a wad of ones. I don't have 20s. I don't have 10s. Once in a while, I'll have a five. Uh, I'm not a rich guy. I don't have hundreds, but I'll probably have five or six ones maybe a five and a 10. And if I'm lucky, a 20 in there, but we'll slip some bills in here. Needless to say, when you start packing it all in, it's going to get a little girthier. That's probably why they have this little shankers things here. So you can lock it in and it pushes it and it holds it in nice and tight. So this is my new P01 Pioneer Travel Wallet. I'm going to start sticking stuff in there and then see how much more girthy it gets. I don't have to always take this pen with me, but at this point, I like the idea. I like the idea of having a little place to write. My wife and I are always going, hey, you have a pen, you know, to write something down. She always has a pen. I seldom have a pen, maybe in my vehicle. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of a cool little setup. The pen is supposed to be really nice. I bought some extra refills and all sorts of stuff. So I've got, let's see, I purchased three extra little booklets just in case i got extra little inks 
ink cartridges for the pen, and another lanyard. So apparently, and this lanyard's, I think, a little different than the one that my uh, wallet came with. But I purchased, I, pur I, mean, I purchased a whole bunch of old things, and then they threw in this M1, which was a $109 wallet for free. And then I purchased this little metal clip, because like I said, this is not a folding, bifolding one. This M1 is like a tactical metal, and there's more metal, and I have to screw this in with little screws, and it's a little uh, clip that you can clip extra bills on. But there is a spot in here to put bills. We'll do this one separately. I want to just keep this one, the Pioneer wallet. So anyway, where did I stick my wallet? Oh, uh, this one I should have a lanyard for it. All right. Uh, so yeah, I like it. I, I, well, let's use it for a little while and see. But my, we'll call it a 15-year-old wallet. Uh, it's about to be put away. This new wallet is what I have. Again, not cheap. It was $125. Uh, but then I got this other wallet for free. So let's try it out. Dango, not Django, but I'm going to think that always now, Django in my head. And uh, we'll, we'll put a few coins in here. We'll put some credit cards, uh, my license, and we'll just feel what it feels like. And I don't know if, you know, necessarily I want to have a pen in my pocket all the time, but we'll try it out. We'll experience it. And then I'll come back and do another video later on, letting you know what I think. But I will edit on to this. I'm going to put everything in here, show you the width of it, see what I had to do to make this work. But I think in general, the size, you know, I'm used to this thing. So I think I'm, I'll be okay. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. This is mostly just an unboxing. I'll come back here in a moment with sticking some stuff in there. I don't know. Do I even have any bills in here? No, <laughs> I don't even have a one on me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hold tight and we'll come back and do more videos on the Dango uh, P01 Pioneer Travel Wallet. Thanks for watching. Bye.